but more accurately, you could call jazz black improvisational music because it's from the African-American culture. And we thought, well, it kind of seems wrong to not make our main character black. How's it going? Nice to talk Hi. to you. Nice to talk to you too. Um, I'm Dominique. I'm 19 and I absolutely adore the film. I think it's great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It means so much to people of color to have a black character lead a Pixar movie. Music is all I think about. From the moment I wake up in the morning to the moment I fall asleep at night, I was born to play. It's my reason for living. How did an idea that started with the birth of your son turn into the story of Joe trying to make it as a jazz musician? Yeah, it's funny because it's a very personal film, which uh, might not strike people uh, by looking at it. But uh, the idea of falling in love with something, in my case, animation, doing it your whole career, feeling like that's going to bring you fulfillment and then coming to a place where you go, I still don't feel like everything's fixed. I don't know that that really was the answer to everything. Uh, that's kind of at the core of it. And then we wanted to, um, animation is probably not the most fascinating thing to watch. So we thought let's, instead of being an animator, maybe our main character could be an actor, a scientist. We hit on jazz mostly because I, I, I just love jazz. But then we found this amazing um, Herbie Hancock story where he talked about how jazz, like a, a good jazz musician takes what they're given and whatever that is and tries to turn it into something of value. And we thought that's exactly what we're trying to say with the movie. So once we locked in on, yes, Joe should be a jazz musician. Um, I think it was one of our cultural consultants said, well, more accurately, you could call jazz black improvisational music because it's from the African-American culture. And we thought, well, it kind of seems wrong to not make our main character black to reflect that. And so that that's kind of the chain of, it, of events that led to that decision. I think you can really tell it's a personal film and that connection comes across really well. I think it really inspires other people to really think about the meaning of their life and what sparks them. I'm a teenager and sometimes it feels like it's difficult to know which path to follow. What advice do you have for young people trying to follow their spark? I, it's interesting that you said that because we, um, when we did our previous screenings, a lot, a lot of people, you're in your age group, like college, because you're, you're always asked, like, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do from the, from the moment? I do it to my own kids, and I'm like, why am I asking them that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think like, I don't know that I have the best. Pete, you know, was coming from a place where he knew what he wanted to do from the very beginning. I had a very different path. I still, I still sometimes I'm like, what am I going to do when I grow up? You know, like, <laughs> I feel like, um, I feel like I've, you improvise and just go for things, take all the opportunities and you'll know when something feels good or when it doesn't, and you'll just have to trust your gut and surround yourself with people you like and that you can, um, enjoy your days with is my best advice. I always feel bad when, when we go to schools or whatever and people are like, how much money do you make? I'm like, if you're doing this, if you're living <laughs> life to make money, you're in it for a disappointment. You know, go for what you love, what you what drives you and what inspires you. Because um, no matter what you choose, there's going to be days when it's work, you know. Um, so if you're coming in from a sense of uh, having a higher calling for this in whatever way, I think that's how you how you make a difference. And that's something, that's advice I'm definitely going to have to take on board because I definitely feel like every second you're bombarded with, you have to know what you want to be in the future, you know, you have to have that set. But this is great advice. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Dominique. Those were great questions. <laughs> Thank, Thank you guys you. so much. Thank you.